one of the things the weald is particularly good for are reptiles. And it's areas like this we get a lot of bracken that uh, are perfect. And you can see here there are a couple of bits. There's a bit of tin and this mat. These have been put down to help conservationists survey the reptiles in the area because these warm up well in the mornings, just, just like now. It's perfect timing. And reptiles enjoy that warmth, gets them going in the morning. Let's have a look and see what's under here. Oh, look at this beautiful slow one. And the babies, absolutely wonderful. This coppery metallic body. I'm not going to handle it because slow worms are, of course, related to lizards. And one of the defense mechanisms they have for predation is that they can shed their tail. It's a bit of a, a shock for the predator, but even the predator goes away with a bit of a meal. But it's not good for the slow worm because it's very stressful and it's quite a significant loss of body mass. And as the year's maturing, it's much better to leave them alone and not cause that to happen. In Britain, all reptiles are protected by law, which is a great thing because in the past, people would see something in the corner of their eyes slithering, would assume it was venomous. And very often, innocent creatures uh, were impaled on forks and shovels. Hopefully, we're a little bit more enlightened today. Let's have a look under the wrinkly tin. Oh, look at the grass snakes, beautiful grass snakes. Of course, completely harmless to us. They're not in any way venomous. If you do pick one up, they will give off this horrible, slimy, smelly substance. And uh, they also have this habit of playing dead. They'll turn their head over and stick their tongue out and go, and try to convince you that they're dead. And if you wait very patiently and watch them, eventually the eye will just go. And if it senses you again, <laughs> straight back into this torpid state. Quite wonderful, and there's a shed skin here as well. That's a lovely sight. It's one of my favorite creatures, the grass snake. Oh, and there's a snake you don't want to pick up. There's an adder on top of the tin there now. We've got this beautiful black diamond pattern on the back. Oh, it's moving now. These snakes, although they're small, they can deliver a serious bite. They're not something we should fear because, as you see, their immediate reaction is to run away. But it's certainly not something you should ever play with. Don't go and try and pick one up, because their strike is incredibly fast. Mm -hmm.